in real time systems there are two parts one are those which are being controlled by the machines that is called the other one is transaction based systems all right in control systems all the machines which are basically working in real time in real times they are using sensors sensors may have transaction transaction based system sensors may have any form they might be pollution sensor like oxygen heat temperature and uh, proximity distance a ph sensors could be any for example let's take this example of our ac air condition split so what basically happens heat sensors are giving their input remember sensors do not think they do not decide so if you write anything like sensor do this sensors do that that would be taken as wrong in your exams yeah they are just giving inputs so sensors are collecting data from the environment environment is nature nature is analog so it is not digital in order to make computer understand anything you have to have it converted into the digital form so we need a kind of converter the standard name of that sort of converter is called adc analog to digital converter then output of adc is then received by the micro processor so whatever that is coming in to the processor is being saved as well and that is called data logging data is always logged the reason for data logging is to check the progress so every time microprocessor takes any action and what happens next cannot be judged until unless you have the previous data and the next one so that is called data logging data logging helps to take decision for the current data position now over the microprocessor there is a software working and and there is a preset value as well now what does that mean a software is working who is doing this all preset value is the kind of value as as i said that we are taking example of this split ac air conditioning system preset microprocessor micro microprocessor okay it's not m micro sign Micro. So, but you are not going to write such way in Excel. Okay, you are going to write the complete thing. Anyways, that preset value is like that. You switched on the air condition and you set like I need 18 temperature in my room. So that 18 would be the preset value. Every time data comes in, it is being checked against the preset value. But what is missing? The missing part is that whether the temperature is big. is coming up or going down so that coming up or going down has got different meanings when it reaches to preset if it is going down then it is okay but the compressor of the ac would be switched off but if it, if it is coming up then at when it reaches preset value it would still go up okay so the meaning is different so whatever it is data logging is the necessary part preset value is the value with which every single input is being checked and with the help of data logging it is taking into consideration whether it is improving or decreasing and this is all being done by a software after the decision is taken that decision is again in the form digital form so that needs to be reconverted to analog form so that that action could be perform in the nature means in our life so in in this case of this ac the nature is to switch on or off the compressor 
so the device that basically performs that action or the organ of the machine that performs that action is called an actuator for example if it is automatic opening door that sense that someone is there and it opens up the actuator would be the motor in this case of uh, air condition split air condition the actuator is the compressor now suppose that it is a car that sends the proximity with the car in the front and as soon as the car gets closed it applies automatic brakes then in that case the actuator would be the brakes that is how the control system works all right on contrary we have transaction based systems in transaction based systems these are again real time systems in these systems whenever the data is entered it takes uh, it is taken by the computer and the effect of that data is basically obvious on the uh, the <coughs> world the world is basically the database that is basically we have inside the system for example let's say we have product a in quantity 10 and we are a selling business so what happens that we as soon as any uh, uh, customer purchases that product and the product's quantity is 2 that would be given to the system and system would bring the effect to a and it would be reduced by 2 now and a would be now 8 in quantity with us so that is basically as soon as we have any data it takes uh, computer takes action and makes the necessary changes to the database all right so that the reports could be produced transaction based systems have this phenomena that they have uh, reporting power to the last moment the transaction happened that's about it